Thank you, son. Do you want something to drink? Mm, no, I'm okay for now. The last time I came here, it was a different house. And it was smaller too. Yeah, I was single then. But, you know, you get married and <laughs> everything changes. It's a beautiful, beautiful house. Oh, thanks, Mom. Where is your wife? I don't know. She was cooking when I left to pick you up from the airport. She's probably upstairs in the room. Uh, I can run up and let her know that we're back. Okay. Okay, okay I'll be right back. Okay. I knew you were gonna be so uh, sorry. Yeah, I probably should have told you. Just traffic wasn't very bad, so got okay. back quicker than I thought. Good. Hello. Hi, Welcome, hi. Ivana. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. How was your trip? And how's everyone over there? The trip was good. And everyone is very good. Thank you very much. It's been a while since we last saw you. I know. I think what, last year at the wedding? Yes, I want to come sooner, but you know, due to travel restriction, I could not. Well, I'm glad you're here now. Thank you, me too. You must be tired and hungry. Yes, a little bit. Mm. You know what? Why don't you go rinse off? In the meantime, I'll grab your luggages, take them to your room, and set the table for dinner. What do you mean, that I am not clean? What? No. No, Mom. It's just a gesture. She doesn't mean that you're not clean. You know what? I'll serve dinner. And you just, Jimena, it's, you don't have to shower before you eat. It's perfectly fine. It doesn't bother me one bit. Please stop telling me what to do. Perfect. Oh, thanks, honey. You're welcome. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Son. How are you this morning? Good. You're up early. It's barely 7 a.m. Yes, I know. I woke up early to make you breakfast. Oh, 
Thanks, Mom, but I, I don't eat breakfast this early. Yes, you do. No, I usually wait till mid-morning before I eat. What is the difference? Breakfast is breakfast. Please go, take a seat. Mom, you're gonna make me be late for... Wait, what is that? What is what? What are you wearing? Uh, it's a shirt. Yeah, but it doesn't look good. What do you mean it doesn't look good? No, not at all. It doesn't look good. A blue shirt with those pants? Mm -mm, nobody does that. There's nothing wrong with a blue shirt and these pants. Everything is wrong with that. Please, go take that off. Mom, I can't do that. Moreover, Angela picked this for me. I, th I think it looks good. Angela, Angela, everything is Angela. Angela picked it, but it doesn't make it right. Mom, please don't say that. Listen, I am your mom and I know what is best for you. And mom. you should listen to what I have to tell you before you listen to someone else. Okay, Mom, Angela's not someone else. She's my wife. Whatever, please go. Take that off. <sighs> you came back. What well, happened? Yeah, I never really left. May I ask why? It's my mother. What about your mom? She doesn't like the clothes that I'm wearing. She told me to come change them. Excuse me? Look, Angela, it's really not that big of a deal. Your mom didn't like the clothes you were wearing, so you ran up here to change it. What are you, five? Angela, I, I just went through this with my mom downstairs. I really don't want to go through it again with you. Okay, it's really not that big of a deal. Can we just let it go? Did you tell her that I picked it out for you? Angela, can you just let it go, please? Okay, okay, I'm letting it go. What are you doing? What does it look like I am doing? By the way, is that how you were taught to greet people? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Good afternoon, Jimena. Okay, so why are you cooking? Why the people cook? I see you mastered the art of answering a question with a question. Whatever. I am cooking so George has food when he gets back. So George can have food? But I told you yesterday there's food here. I didn't see any food there. That's why you should have asked me. I don't need to ask you anything. He will eat this food. No, he will not. Yes, he will. <laughs> Listen, I spent the whole of yesterday cooking. When I was done, I proportioned the food and set it in the deep freezer for the week, like I've done every week for the past two years. So you see, he's not going to eat that. We will see who has the upper hand, the rat or the trap. Wait, are we in some kind of competition here? Don't ask me stupid questions. What are you doing in my room? I did George laundry and I am putting them back. Why would you do George's laundry? You don't think that he needs clean clothes? But George has clean clothes. And even if he didn't, it's none of your business. Everything about George is my business. You 
have to start visiting your family members. You could just sit here and forget that you have family. Mom, I work. I barely have time for myself, let alone visiting people. But you have to make time to visit your family. No, it's not that easy. I often bring work home and work on the weekends just so I can meet my deadlines. At least try. Okay, I'll try. George, what are you still doing up at this time? You have to be up in four hours, you know? Yeah, I was gonna head up in a minute. I'm just talking to my mom about something. What is she talking about that can't wait till the morning? Please, come on, let's go. Good night, Mom. Good night. Good morning, Jimena. What is good about the morning? What? I know what you are trying to, to do. Really? What am I trying to do? You are trying to put George against me. Where did you get that from? You're his mother. Why would I want to do that? Because you don't want him to listen to me. But your plan will fail because I am his mother. I'm not disputing that you're his mother. What I'm saying is, you play your role as his mother and let me play mine as his wife. You are not going to tear me and my son apart. You are delusional. You know what? I'm gonna forget this conversation ever happened. I have an office to go to. Jimena, where's the food? What food? The food that was in the freezer. I don't know. What am I? A food watcher? Are you serious? You were the only one here. How can you not know where it is? Okay, then. I threw the food away. You did what? I told you before. I don't like frozen food. That is not good for your body. And I don't want my son to eat that. This is not frozen food. I cooked it myself. I put it in the freezer to last us for the week. Why you don't make fresh food every day? Because I work. We don't have enough time throughout the day to cook when we get off of work. That's why we put it in the freezer. What's all the yelling about? Why don't you ask your mother why I'm yelling? I'm sure she would have the answer to that. Mom, what have you done again? Again? What do you mean again? Like, I am a troublemaker? I, all I did was throw the food away and make fresh one for us. What is the issue? The issue is, Angela cooked that food. It was just as fresh as the food that you cooked today. Now are you in her side? No, Mom, this isn't about taking sides. What you did was flat out wrong. You can't go and throw away someone's stuff without asking them. You know what? I am not going to listen to this rubbish. Now what are we gonna eat? I don't know. Why don't you go ask your mother? Mom, do you have a minute to talk? What? I just want to talk to you about what's been going on. Okay. Look, I have the utmost respect for you, but... But what? It's just that ever since you, ever since you came, there's been one issue after another. And Angela and I, we were fine before you got here. 
Are you saying that I brought problem to you? No, Mom, that's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? What I'm saying is you, you should just let Angela be. Be? Be what? Look, you're not in a competition with her. You're my mom, and she's my wife. She feels like you're doing too much right now. I am not allowed to do anything in my son's house. No, Mom, that's not what I'm saying. I'm married now. This is Angela's house, too. Look, I know you mean well, but you can't just show up and take things over and act like Angela doesn't exist anymore. Are you suggesting that I have to leave? Leave? No, Mom. What I'm saying is you're a guest in this house. Be a guest. Relax. Enjoy the visit. Okay, you don't have to cook for me or clean or do my laundry or tell me what to wear or not to wear. Okay. Angela wants to see you as a mother-in-law, not as competition. I don't see it like that, but if you see it like that, I'm sorry. I will stay in my lane from this point on. Okay, thank you for understanding. I appreciate it. Hey, Angela, I talked to my mom. About what? Well, I talked to her about everything. And she apologized. Said she's really, really sorry about it. Well, at least she came to her senses. Yeah, right? Well, we still don't have anything to eat. And I'm not eating her food. How about we eat out tonight? Are you sure? Yeah. Can I pick? Absolutely. We go to. Yeah, if that's where you want to go, that's fine with me. Really? Sure. That's my favorite place. Yay!